Go for a bottom Owens push. Interesting. Yeah, and I, I like this play from replays. You know, if he can able to pick up this kill over on this side of the map, it pretty much opens red control for their team. You know, those players are going to have to rotate out of that building, obviously. There we go. So respect the fact that he would be able to go BB, you know, right there. Great play from Formal able to take him out. Formal capitalizes on the opportunity with a vantage point there, taking out replays. Bomb now. They must know exactly where it is. Study is going to get dropped by his former captain and teammate, Merc. But Saints finds one there. Let's see what Denial Saints can do here as he's continuing to put shots on this one. Player is going to be located red three. His teammate's going to be there on the response. That will be formal there for the help. But no, yeah. Merc won't be needing it because he is going to net himself to that round. And that is going to be one to one and be tying this one up. Yeah, you know, Saints fighting from a really tough position right here. Merc able to shoot him through the floor of red three. And you know, if Replay is able to get that kill, you know, Denial is probably going to win that round. If he can get over to B, or they can go rotate right out to A. So, you know, big kill right there. I believe it was J-Cap who killed him in uh, top Owens. Yeah, that's right. J-Cap, just good work from him. But, of course, in my in my opinion, Merck has been the star thus far, sitting out there at the top of the scoreboard for Team Envious at 3-1. and one. He has the bomb here. Snipes are actually going off, too. If, if I'm correct, that was a snipe shot. I could be way off on that. But it's probably uh, study, if anything. You know, study one of the better snipers in Call of Duty. No, I haven't really seen him use it too much recently. I think, you know, we haven't seen snipers at all too much recently in Search and Destroy. I think it's changed a little bit since, you know, around Call of Duty champs time. Well, if I had to guess, he's using a uh, Iron Sights Vector. He should have it. Never mind. Formal, though, will actually find one. And let's see if Formal can follow through with his second kill. He's going to make his way to the middle of the map, and it seems like it's just easy for him as he peels one and takes out replays. But he can't follow up because Saints will be there for the stop, but his teammate J-Cap will find him, and that is going to net Envy their second win here, 2-1. to one. But you notice Envy is always in proper position, Golden Boy. They're so consistent. They're, they're never making really bad plays. They're always near each other, always trading effectively. You know, that's why they're, they're one of the better teams and one of the best teams in the game coming off that Gfinity, obviously, win. Yeah, that's right. That Gfinity win was great for them. for them. I mean, yeah. Just see the confidence and envy. This is a is a different team than what I've been accustomed to seeing here in the past. But uh, it seems like Saints is going to grab the bomb here, and uh, let's see what happens. Of course, as uh, Saints has been another player who, you know, a lot of people know is just very very talented. He has that bomb though, and uh, let's see here what he's going to do with this because he's taking it up to top white. And he, he knows that he wants to, at the very least, look out for that player, at, you know, second story Owens, maybe third story Owens. But now that he hasn't gotten to beat down anyone, wait a minute, though, he's going to find one. And that was just like the luck of the draw there is yeah. Merck is going to get picked off. And, uh, wow, that actually worked out rather well for him. Right. You know, a lot of times you go guy in top white on search and destroy. It kind of means that they're oh. going to a quick plant on AZ Zumu, the sniper of his no own peeling wigs right there. Nameless goes down. But no two kills out of J-Cap right there, bringing it back into a workable situation for NV and J-Cap in a two-on-one situation. Yeah, J-Cap definitely need, needed that one. I mean, let's see, Saints here as he's uh, looking to push, and there are shots going. So they know where J-Cap is, obviously, as he appeared on the minimap, and uh, that will prompt them to have to make moves. But the question is, you know, was that a part of the plan for J-Cap? Did he intend for them to try and push that area so that this way he wasn't worrying about uh, a B-plant situation? That's always what's on my mind. If they're thinking one step ahead, but J-Cap looking around, peeking, seeing if he can find anyone. He doesn't see him through the wall there as he turns around, and he's not going to matter because replays will be there, and he will net the second round win for Denial there after that bomb plant. Yeah, you know, J-Cap was in a really tough spot right there. Going where they had a player over in top white. You can see right there, able to see the bomb, and then you had replays noting that red god spot. That's what a lot of the players call it. You know, just that little area where you can see side red over, like, the little train area. Mm-hmm. It's a very nice spot. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I had no idea that it was uh, there was something called God Spot. That's yeah. actually that's actually kind of cool here. So, all right. Well, now looking here to see what uh, Envy is going to be doing on the response is J Cap. He couldn't put together the win there, but that was a tough situation for him to be in. Meanwhile, on the other side, you have uh, Denial losing Saints immediately. Saints has been the top score for this team, five to three here. Uh, Merck, unfortunately for Envy, is going to fall down, and that will be the bomb as well. J Cap, though, tried to meet Study around, but Study was going to find him with a hop, skip, and a jump, and he will secure that kill. 55 seconds left, plenty of time for Envy to work with here. Granted, if they can get their uh, hands on the bomb. Yeah, but you know, Study being behind enemy lines right here on defense, being on the Envy side of the map, it's really got to, you know, throw them off a little bit because you, you want to push up. 
I mean, obviously he's going to go back there towards his own spawn, but if he were to able to you know, play from Envy's side of the map, really throws things off for an offensive team. Yeah, just looking at what Study's doing, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to keep a beat on him. We'll keep him highlighted and see where he's going to be moving. But for the time being, it seems as if Formal and Nameless are going to be split up. And Study actually ends up getting a knife there on Formal, or excuse me, on Nameless. That's going to leave Formal by himself having to deal with this one. 15 seconds on the clock. They took too much time here. At 55 seconds, I said they had time to work with, but they couldn't quite figure out what they wanted to do. Study is going to be able to lock that one down, making it 3-2. to two. Yeah, and you know, you saw right there Formal searching towards the end of the round, and you would have thought that there's only like one other player live on the opposing team. There were three. Denau is just doing so such a good job of just hiding you know you didn't know where their players are positioned at all yeah yeah when, when study was able to push out from you know the envy side right it, that, that just caused a lot of distractions nameless had no idea nades were flying in from behind it just all kind of like worked out in the favor of denial there but now looking here to see what's going on with replays here is he grabs the bomb again and that's what you'd always got to expect out of replays study circling around just taking his time playing the long range game with this smg which you can with the vector and uh looking at saints who's just looking to watch the back of his teammates here as he has a thermal remington study though with the first pick on jcap right you know with saints in white he's able to look uh, red 2 and red 3, and it looks like, you know, they're going to try and get the bomb down at A. That makes the most sense with this positioning. Yeah, it seems like that's what they're playing for. But meanwhile, Study, though, he has just been on fire, finding one through the wall. No, and his teammate's going to be there for the assist, leaving Formal alone, and his sniper couldn't find its way over she to Saint. Red, really and that will be 4-2 to two two Denial, two rounds right away, and they will tie this series up. I mean, no, Denial coming out strong after losing that strike zone domination. You would have figured Strikes of Domination would have been a map they could have gotten, figuring, you know, they just played a series. They're pretty fresh, warmed up. You know, but Envy came out hot on that one, but you see Denial still fighting back. Very resilient team. Yeah, Denial is, uh, you know, they, they will not give up, and that is something that I've always admired about those four players on, that, uh, on the other side of Envy here. But now that Envy is going to be on the attack, they need a round win here. They do not want to go down 5-2 to two here. The pressure will just be uh, too much for them. And I honestly think that they that Denial will capitalize on that. Right but they there. end up losing two right away. Merc is going to be in a spot to get the buzz kill there. That will be on Zuma. And that he will be the first one gone for Denial. Merc having a good game here. But Nameless, we got to talk about this. 0-5x is not something I would have expected to see. Yeah, you know, that's something we hardly ever see out of Nameless. And, you know, right there we see him pick up his first kill. So, you know, he's on the board. But... That one kill by Zuma pretty much stopped the entire push by Envy at the beginning of that round. And, you know, they really haven't been able to get anything going since. And you see Nameless and Merch kind of go walking back and forth trying to put some kind of plan together. Yeah, first kill for Nameless, honestly, is it's going to be great in, in my personal opinion because this is uh, going to give them that confidence on there. You see right there, finding one player. And is it going to be the case? No, Saints is going to be there for the stop. And that will make it 5-2. to two. Denial Let's one go. round away from Great locking complete. down this game to victory here. But I got to say, you know, Nameless getting those two kills, that should hopefully help. If you're if you're an Envy fan, you're hoping that's going to just oh, start getting going him. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. give him a little confidence there since he wasn't able to net, a ki net himself a kill, what, six rounds? So. Yeah, you know, as a player, I think when you start off, you know, 0-2, oh 0-3, and oh and it starts to get in your head a little bit. You know, yeah. When is my first kill going to happen? You never <laughs> want to be the one with the zero because, you know. You want to be that guy. Yeah, everyone else in the booth. They might not say they're thinking about it, but clearly they are. Yeah, it, it just plays with your head there, especially, yeah. you know, you were a competitor as well as I, and I definitely understand that mindset. But look at uh, Envy out of the gate already, coming out strong, and that round ended as soon as it started. Envy coming out strong again here as, uh, you know, this is, uh, this is something that they desperately needed, you know, or I should repeat again, coming out strong was something they desperately needed. Good stuff out of Envy. And uh, I got to point out Saints, so he's 10-4, and four, man. Like, yeah, he's I mean, just, he's, he's killing it. Saints crushes. I mean, yeah. but right there, Envy, they caught the nail off guard. You know, Envy, known to be a more passive team, came out right there, and they rushed straight through red, and they were able to pick up those kills, get that fast, easy defensive round. Yeah, well, they know this is it, though, X. And, you know, anything that they, that they do here, one thing for certain, and I'm sure they're all thinking about this, is they got to get that first pick. They have to get it, and they get hit marker. Study, though, is going to drop nameless. Formal will fall as well, leaving Merck and J-Cap by their lonesome. And J-Cap looking around the side here. And Merck is going to get picked off, and that's going to leave J-Cap alone. They know exactly where he is, and that's going to do it. Denial will take game number two. Freight search and destroy. Time the series up one-to-one. One. I mean, they're just great search and destroy play from Denial. 
you know, study great search and destroy player and Zuma as well. You know, Zuma, that's kind of what he was known for before Anaheim, right? He was a search and destroy player.